So, if you were a British wild animal, what would you be? <sighs> That's a challenge. I, can, I would either go for um, a seagull soaring away in Scotland with my pick of the fish, or basking shark with that mystery about where they go when they leave our shores. Good choices. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Where's your favourite place in Britain? Oh, again, it can't be one. That's really hard. So, obviously home, which is why I choose to be here, but um, Northumberland's always been a big favourite of mine um, because it's wild and doesn't have the tourists of the Lake District and doesn't have the sheep of the Lake District. And um, it's got incredible history always, always delivers is um, the Highlands. It's so fabulous. Everywhere you turn and swing the camera, it looks beautiful. And it's, um, it feels like true big national mm. park stuff up there. Lovely. And walking boots or wellies? Walking boots. Wellies are cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Even with the welly socks are cold, cold, cold. Yeah, walking boots, definitely. Okay, uh, and a controversial one. Cream or jam first? It's gone. <laughs> Ah, well, you're from Devon. You must have a strong opinion on this. <laughs> well, my preference is jam first. Is that the Devon way? Uh, I think it might be the other way around. <gasps> oh, no, that's uh... controversial. Do that to yourself when you go home. Um, do you, I honestly don't mind, really, because it all ends up in the same place. I would probably just do it the old toasty way, like cream then jam, just for the sheer up. But I might mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> OK, brilliant. And secluded beach or seaside pier? Secluded beach. I think it's like the, the greatest, most cherished place in people's eyes. If you see a beach and if no one's mm -hmm. on it, then that's just the dream. No one's there. The first footprints yeah. you make are yours. And ah, uh, yeah, secluded beach. And do you have a favourite beach in Britain? That's such a good question. Do I? Um, which ever is secluded? <laughs> <laughs> Where there's not anything that hasn't got anyone on it. I guess you want to keep it that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep that to myself. Yeah. <laughs> And um, who are your rural heroes? Well, that's a really good one. There are, there are some incredible women that I've worked with. So um, there's a woman called Jemima Parry Jones. I think I've got that right. Anyway, she runs the International Birds of Prey Centre in the Forest of Dean. And she has a lifetime's worth of knowledge about birds of prey. And, and it's because of her knowledge that um, vulture numbers have managed to return to um, Asia where they're, they've dropped incredibly astonishingly from 40 million down to single digit thousands so she's a real great hero but also there there are some really cool projects where um kind of vulnerable groups be they anything from children to people with learning difficulties to mental health issues engage with nature and almost universally there's a fabulous result an incredible mm -hmm. result and sometimes a really striking result and there's a wonderful place called the Leyland Farm Trust set up by a woman and another place called um, Future Roots again set up by a woman who have just really nailed it and they've got stories that are really striking. One case of a lad who had um, autism and when he first got to this farm would kind of only look at the sky and walk around in a figure of eight and sort of six months later he's doing an interview for the BBC almost as if Amazing. you could barely tell yeah. and people who care for him just found it such a you know really moving moment to see him on camera just interacting in a pretty straightforward way. Yeah, it's really, really incredible when people engage with nature. The results are fab. Um, but also, I'll chuck two more in, which is so cheeky. But also mountain rescue teams and the RNLI, both volunteer-based organisations, but always full of cool people, people who know how to have a laugh, but people who take saving lives really seriously. And we're really, really fortunate to have them. OK, great. And thinking about that, um, do you have a favourite journey in Britain? Ooh, that's really hard. A journey through the Highlands. Any road in the Highlands is amazing. By bike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it's not 70 mile an hour winds, definitely by bike. Yeah. Or through Snowdonia. When you're getting off, sort of off road into, into some of the big peaky national parks, that's pretty special. Mm, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, and thinking about if you were going to stay, would you choose a cottage or a castle? Castle. <laughs> I'd definitely choose a castle, because if I was going away somewhere, I'd want to lord it up. Have you ever stayed in any memorable castle? No, I used to wait for my invite, actually, to any one of the castles around the country. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'd prefer to roll. Fair enough. Okay, and mountain or ocean? Oh, hard. Very hard. Hmm. Crumb so hard. Ocean, I think. 
ocean because there's so many ways you can engage with the ocean mm -hmm. you can muck about on it a bit more than a mountain <laughs> and how about kind of outdoor activities like sporting activities what would you choose oh i love stand-up paddle boarding which i know is a new thing but because it's so easy to do mm. and um easy to get around i love that stand-up paddle boarding diving although in only in the warmer parts <laughs> of the year <laughs> diving in britain can be pretty cool too and, and i've done snorkeling with seals which has been and, uh, several times and that's always delivered because within only a few minutes they're playing with you like a dog would it's great fun <laughs> yeah let's give that a go yeah you, you should it's brilliant <laughs> Cool. And maybe for the last two questions, what's the most beautiful site in Britain? Ah, oh. ooh. Um, I tell you where, Ennerdale in the Lake District. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Lake District, which is controversial, <laughs> because it is pretty devoid of wildlife mm. and quite expensive to be and quite busy, quite full of sheep. But an area in the Lake District called Ennerdale has been rewilded and it's beautiful it's so extraordinarily beautiful it's as you would imagine the wildest parts of nature to be it's, it's really gorgeous there also another site i've loved is being up in napdale where they had the trial for the beavers being reintroduced oh, okay. and the results in the landscape the wetlands in the landscape and how again kind of old britain it looks is really exciting oh, brilliant okay and the last tough question cider or ale oh Neither. I'm a young woman. I will have sparkling wine or gin and tonic. Thanks very much. Fair enough. Are you buying? The bar's open. Yeah. First, uh, first punters of the day. Is it 12 o'clock yet? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly. Good stuff.